Yet again, this old man hey, hey, hey. really makes me having to make a voice note again. I have to respond to his every rhetoric. So now, the latest Tun M Blast PMX government calling it a dictatorship. Okay, kenapa? Where is this coming from? Tidak membenar kerajaan ditegur oleh sesiapa. Rakyat Malaysia berhak untuk tegur kerajaan. Tapi ini kerajaan ini bukan saja tak bagi tegur. Kalau parti lawan nak ambil tindakan, nak te, nak tangkap, nak masuk dalam jail dan sebagainya, rakyat berhak tegur kerajaan. Dan kerajaan yang yang halang teguran ini adalah kerajaan diktator. Cuma diktator saja yang tak bagi Uh, orang ramai tunggu kerajaan tak ada gunanya tiap-tiap hari bagi tazkirah duk maki orang kianat dan kezaliman dan kianat dan kezaliman saya nak tanya seperti mana saya kemukakan tadi sejak kita perintah ini sejak November tahun lalu bagi saya satu contoh kita kianat kepada orang-orang Melayu bagi saya satu contoh di mana kita nafikan hak orang-orang Melayu bagi saya saya contoh bagaimana kita kianat pada Islam. Tidak ada. Yang ada hanya propaganda. Kalau dia bagi tahu, bagi contoh, bagi cadangan kita perbaiki, saya terima. Bagi contoh ada beberapa kelemahan dalam peta depan, saya terima. Bagi cadangan baru untuk perbaiki tingkatkan syariat Islam atau kedudukan orang Melayu dan rakyat miskin India terutamanya atau perniagaan orang Cina atau Sabah Sarawak saya terima dengan senang hati tetapi untuk terus gunakan politik adu domba termasuk permainan kaum dan sebagainya ini seperti mana yang saya sebut pagi tadi saya tidak akan tolak ansur saudara percayalah ya. dan saya beritahu pada penguasaan termasuk menteri dalam negeri dengan baik-baik dan ketua polis negara orang boleh kritik kita ada orang salah faham dia kata tak bagi kritik tak betul kritik hari-hari kritik tengok dalam media sosial dia serang habis-habisan saya tidak jadi masalah tapi kalau kamu main guna api perkauman atau fanatik agama menimbul huru hara saya akan pastikan tindakan menangkap mereka dan cabar sekarang Okay, kenapa? Where is this coming from? This orang tua, dia decided dia nak buat apa ni uh, Perhimpunan Melayu konon Konon Melayu punya interest tak ditumpu dalam Ditumpukan oleh government ni Because government ni tolong semua bangsa Address semua orang ha? Negara ni kata negara Malaysia Malaysia Anwar kata This country Malaysia belongs to everyone Walaupun dia kata dia pertahan hak orang-orang Melayu Dan institusi raja-raja That is not good enough for Mahathir Because now This government is now helping also the non-Malays Bangsa-bangsa lain Sabah Sarawak Semua pun dia tolong This somehow is not okay with this old man I do not know what his sickness is Apa masalah dia So now dia nak buat yang tu Tapi dia nak buat yang tu Firstly Impiana cancel for whatever reason Saim Dhabi lepas tu Dia pergi kat Saim Dhabi Saim Dhabi pun cancel Now when this is cancel He start reminiscing of what he used to do when he was PM dulu. Okay? Dia dulu PM dulu, dia draconian. Kalau orang nak buat macam tu, he would have used his power. He would pick up the phone. He would probably tell Saim Dhabi ke, Impiana ke, Please, uh, you know what's good for you. Ha? Tak payah bagi allow semua benda macam ni. Orang, orang akan takut kat Mahathir, people will cancel. These are the kind of things during Mahathir punya administration that happens. Tapi bila Anwar kata dia tak interfere, dia buat kerja dia saja. Dia make instructions pada MACC, pada polis, pada immigration, pada DBKL. Go after corruption, tak kira besar big fish or small fish. Tak kisah opposition ke, belah sini ke, belah sana ke, belah government ke. Go without fear or favor. Combat corruption. Guna kuasa to go after the snakes in the country. And you protect the rakyat Dulu apa? Dulu you go after the rakyat yang report And you use the laws to protect the corrupt To enrich the corrupt Enough Anwar Ibrahim kata Now I will use the power Allah bagi dia power 
to be Prime Minister And what did he do now? He wants to use that He wants to vindicate the power yang Allah bagi pada dia He wants to do right Every second, every day that he is Prime Minister Kalau Allah tentukan esok kerajaan terbuat tak masuk And dia tak PM Doesn't matter At least he rest on his conscience That he did everything to the last day of his rule And he make sure that he uses his power yang Allah bagi pada dia To buat benda yang betul Bukan buat benda yang salah Kalau Allah nak benda tu berhenti Because Allah rasa Malaysia tak deserve Allah will remove him Esok kita ada new kerajaan Ataupun we go for election The government will be dissolved Anwar leaves this to Allah Dia akan buat benda betul Bukan pasal dia takut Jat tak jadi Prime Minister Dia akan pander and cave in To the corruption He he will take on Tun Mahathir Kalau perlu pun So sekarang ni Apa dia dah kata Dia punya cata We are going after corruption There is no two ways about it We will not pander to anybody Tak kisah dia Tun ke Tan Sri ke And that is the term Anwar dictated that term And that term Is agreed by AMNO, By GPS By all those parties That form the coalition That is the dictation Of the Kerajaan Perpaduan Therefore, that is what Anwar dictated to all the agencies. Go after corruption without fear or favor. You protect the public or the whistleblowers. You go after those yang sakau duit kita squander berbilion-bilion. And those who try to avoid tax. Rakyat biasa akan kena tax yang sakau berbilion-bilion. Takkan dia pelari tax. So, those are the terms Allah dictated. Jadi kalau Mahathir kata Allah apa ni Mahathir kata Anwar is dictator this is what I recommend PMX respond PMX kata yes I'm a dictator I dictate that this country fight corruption that's what I dictate as prime minister I dictate that we fight corruption using the law using the powers vested in the prime minister using the powers vested in the agencies and using the power vested in kita punya judicial system We will do everything by the law without fear or favor. The opposition will not be victimized if they are innocent. The government punya people will not be protected if they are corrupted. That is also a dictation. That is also a dictator. Anwar will be a dictator for the right cause and I am proud to have a dictator prime minister to dictate what is right and what is what is apa ni what is against corruption and that's the kind of dictator prime minister we want. Not a Prime Minister yang lembek Nak go on democracy And therefore Kalau semua orang kata Lepaskan orang yang Corrupted uh, Pasal kita sayang abahku Malu apa bosku So therefore kita came in I don't want that kind of Prime Minister yang lembek I want the Prime Minister to be a dictator But dictate the right things Rasulullah Was he not a dictator juga? Was he not also someone for democracy? Dia ada syurah kan dia discuss tapi certain things Dia sebagai pemimpin Dia accountable to Allah Dia dictate Dia ikut Pasal itu ketentuan Allah Fairness You dictate You tak boleh kata demokrasi Demokrasi kata Okay majority kata tak payah fair lah No need to be fair So ikut Ah, ha? PM patut ikut No nope. Two is two is four Two is two is not five Two plus two is not five Two plus two is not six Two plus two is not three Two plus two is four That is the law That is the dictation Bukan majority kata 2 plus 2 is 5 Okay lah is 5 Majority kata 2 plus 2 is 8 Okay lah is 8 Nonsense 2 plus 2 is 4 So some things are clear You steal You pay for it You pay You you suffer the wrath of law You commit a crime There are laws that will be implemented So therefore that is the rule of law The Prime Minister is dictating that Yes, Tun Mahathir Anwar is a dictator But not like your kind of dictator You are the dictator You dictate benda yang salah To further your own agenda Anwar is dictating what is right So he is a dictator And you do not presuppose That Anwar is the one The hand behind cancelling your event He doesn't have to Kalau I jadi Anwar Ibrahim I will not bother To even stop your event I dah bagi warning That I will stop this madness Dia dah kata dah And if you try to fan The religious punya sentiments You try to divide the nation You try to api-apikan perkauman There will be consequences Jadi kalau aku jadi Anwar I would like you to have that perimpunan And anything yang cakap Anything that's inflammatory That is seditious 
I will use whatever sedition law I will use whatever defamatory laws I will come after you I rather you do that Why should he cancel that? Let me tell you now why apa ni, Saim Dhabi cancel and Piana cancel In Piana, whatever the reason, I don't know Saim Dhabi, they, apparently they cancel at the 11th hour Pukul 9 malam, they say tak jadi So now you accuse Anwar Ibrahim Anwar Ibrahim doesn't have to do anything Nobody in the government have got to do anything If I'm Saim Dhabi I do not want to host the event You bawa event kat situ Nombor satu When you bawa bawa Melayu-Melayu punya semua And you start fanning apa ni, racial punya sentiments Benda tu akan be reported Benda tu akan dipantau oleh SB And for no reason Saim Dhabi will be under the limelight of the media For no reason That is not good media for Saim Dhabi Untuk apa? And Saim Dhabi will be perceived as racist For Melayu Why? Saim Dhabi is not into that Secondly, you masuk You kata apa-apa Kalau ada arrest Any uh, apprehension The name synonymous to that incident Will be Saim Dhabi Just like kerajaan tebu atap was Sheraton Sheraton punya nama lah ni Salt Sheraton move Sheraton move yang syaitan move Orang orang relate to benda macam tu For no reason Sheraton gets a bad publicity For no reason Kalau siapa-siapa ada meeting kat Sheraton pun Orang dah sangsi dan syak They don't need that back, sti back uh, stigma Saim Dhabi doesn't need that back stigma And they don't want to be housing that And having that event there Untuk apa? They can It's okay for them to lose business uh, They just stay away from trouble They don't want to go against the government pun Kalau dalam tu masuk orang cerita And people start saying things that's wrong And start condemning the government And they are hosting the event How will Saim Dhabi feel? So jadi kalau I am the owner of Saim Dhabi Or I'm the boss of Saim Dhabi Doesn't matter which government I support Which side I support I don't want to have such events in my place So therefore I cancel it So why do I need a Prime Minister or the Menteri To tell me to cancel Tak payah, I don't need I know what's better for me I need to be strategic Jadi as far as Mahathir is concerned He doesn't like what happens Tough Tapi he is perceiving Anwar From his own lenses kalau pasal kalau benda ni berlaku Dia sebagai Prime Minister ha, Dia akan buat benda tu He will do that He will tell Sam Dhabi to cancel So whatever he's accusing Anwar of doing Is exactly what he would do Tapi bila Anwar tak buat Dia rasa pelik How come? Takkan Anwar tak buat So dia kata dia tak ada evidence Dia sendiri kata tak ada evidence Tapi dia kata impossible it will happen Kalau Anwar tak campur tangan Nampak? This is therefore it is a declaration Declaration that whatever happened in the past During his rule of 22 years Anything of this sort happen Dia campur tangan This is just He is just, just in admit, ad, 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 apa ni, Inadvertently admitted to what he used to do We all knew what Mahathir did last summer Simple as that Okay So now Sama macam Abah Muhyiddin Bila dia kena Dia kata political persecution Dia kata Ini apa ni Dendam PN kata uh, PAS kata Anwar berdendam Again, ada evidence ke? Tak ada So, they cannot comprehend Macam mana Azam Baki yang dia appoint Macam mana Idrus Harun yang dia appoint Agree for him to be charged Dia tak boleh understand Pelik Okay Dia tak boleh understand Macam mana when dia kerajaan ha, Tengku Maimun and the judicial punya uh, bench Semua tu yang sama tu Are the same people now That will judge him Dia tak boleh accept Jadi, dia kena Accuse Dia kena kata Ini revenge Anwar Anwar berdendam Again When people Accuse that Without evidence They don't have facts To back it up They are reflecting Exactly what they are They are perceiving From their own set Of lenses That's what they are Jadi when you suspect You make it public And you don't even know You don't have evidence You are telling the world What you are So thank you Mahathir Thank you Muhyiddin You guys showed how stinky your characters are. You just tunjuk macam mana and you think Anwar orang lain must be like you. Must be like that. Then only it makes sense to you. You cannot understand or accept kalau all the agencies do the same thing, do their jobs and go after you. So, Lani, you tak boleh understand, tak boleh accept. Why you punya event cancel? Why SMDB cancel? Why don't you pick up the phone and tanya SMDB why they cancel? Ada dia kata ke Anwar suruh ke? Anwar would not sing that low as you would lah Mahathir So 
You nak accuse PM as dictatorship Yes, he, he is a dictator He dictates the rule of law You can't handle that tough Okay, so that is the kind of dictator we want We would have also accepted you as dictator If you dictate, you may dictatorship Was for what is good That is also what we want Tapi you did not You did all kinds of nonsense Okay, so that's one, aku recap Secondly, you nak kata orang interfere You got no evidence You just reveal what you are You think people are like you So, tough You don't like what's happening Too bad Tapi Aida kata dah Kalau aku jadi Anwar I prefer you have that event And you cakap tak kena gaya There are sedition law There are defamatory laws Bila kena yang tu semua Jangan marah Jangan kata Oh, menyekat Oh, sekarang ni you want to uh, I, I baca juga You kata Oh, apa ni Now any dissent is blocked Is stopped You can say whatever dissent I pun uh, criticize this government Pasal lantikan politik lah Apa-apa I say also I tak nak kena sekat apa pun Tak nak sapa SB call me pun I can give my opinion I can criticize Apa yang I tahu Apa yang betul Tapi kalau you kata benda tak betul You are accusing government Of benda yang government tak buat Pemimpin tak buat That is in the first place defamatory Kalau you nak buat uh, event And you want to fan racial punya sentiment To show that Malay punya interest is not taken care of Because uh, government is menumpukan Lebih kepada non-Malays punya benda You gempar-gempurkan Then seditious law comes into play Those laws exist to make sure that You cannot fan religious sentiments That can lead to incidents like May 13 Okay We we are having A harmonious country We don't need An old fox like you To stir up things And bagi orang marah And distract so To distract From whatever That's forthcoming to you By MACC You ingat orang tak reti Apa you nak buat So you at your old age You tak sedap lagi You still want to Vilify this government You still want to show This government Tak peduli Pasal orang Melayu When there's no evidence To suggest so you still cannot even complete your narrative Yang apa yang government Ignore pasal Melayu punya plight, plight, plight Yang dia address Non-Malay punya plight saja Sampai sekarang tak boleh You cannot even explain Apa dia the pain point Apa benda yang government patut buat untuk Melayu Yang government tak buat You tak boleh sebut buat apa tu Tapi you nak buat gathering And you want to gempar-gemporkan So good luck lah Because I don't think Anwar akan bagi chan lah ni dah So you try lah Tak apalah cancel Sheraton ni You marah You kata Dictatorship Tapi I don't think You will give up You will still do your event kan Buat event tu I look forward to that event happening Even though it's bad for the country You buat Tapi Do not say you will not warn Kalau you buat benda tak ketahuan You buat gila-gila You langgar law Whether you are 90 years old Or you are 100 years old You will be arrested You may end up wearing orange suit And on wheelchair pun You will still go to court so, good luck You think you want to challenge You think uh, That because you are former PM And you ser longer serving punya PM uh, You be treated special No lah Especially when you are warned You've been warned And if you still flout it And you endanger kita, The fabric of kita society You endanger uh, Racial punya hatred And discontent There will be consequences Sedition law will be applied upon on you and if you are detained Janganlah nak kata dictator lagi dah Okay Anwar memang dictator of the rule of law Anwar Ibrahim uh, Datuk Apa Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim Respond to that old, old man Bagi tahu dia Memang you dictator You dictator the rule of law You have dictated that we will fight corruption Tak kisah ikan bilih ke ikan jerung Without fear or favour Tak kisah belah opposition Or belah government you tell him I am a dictator That is my rule It is not negotiable There is no compromise uh, Itu bahasa dictator Be the kind of dictator We support you all the way I don't think I'm the only one Who supports you I think every discerning rakyat Supports that kind of PM And stay the course Do not be swayed by this old fox Assalamualaikum